the road to Sumele Monastery is long and narrow. Dedicated to the Virgin Mary, it sits on the edge of a cliff 1,200 meters above sea level in Trabzon, Turkey. The Greek Orthodox monastery opened its doors in the late 4th century, and now, after a four-year-long restoration period, the doors of the first section are once again open to visitors. It's my second time in Turkey, and last time I missed out on this monastery. And luckily, I happen to be here today on the opening day, so I'm pretty excited about it. It looks amazing. So. The original structure included several chapels, a library, and a sacred spring. But large sections were destroyed in rock falls and earthquakes. As part of the restoration process, 4,000 tons of rock and rubble has been cleared away. For Greece, is a big event because this uh, church, this uh, uh, monastery, monastery, as we say, uh, it it has a big value for the for the Greeks. So we came here in order to to see. I think they have uh, done a very good uh, job here, a very good work here, uh, because uh, the monastery was very bad uh, the previous years. The government is funding the project as part of its efforts to preserve cultural and religious history. The monastery is significant to both Greece and Turkey, and the restoration is expected to be completed sometime late next year. Afterwards, the Ministry of Culture and Tourism will apply to have the monastery included on UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites. Yasin Ekan, TRT World, Trabzon, Turkey.